Hey Bow Kids, this is Underwood here, coming at you with a webcast video. Every once in a while, in Rockland High School Biology, we're going to go ahead and give you a little webcast video for you to watch, maybe answer a couple questions at the end. This one is focused on the six fundamental characteristics of life. You see, we're in biology, and what biology means is the study of life. But what is life? What constitutes life? Well, here at Rockland, we use a sweet little acronym, Go Share. And no, I don't mean share, the rock diva. No way, right? Okay, I am talking about Go Share. Each one of these letters stands for one of the six fundamental characteristics of life, and I really hope that it's going to be a nice mnemonic that you can use to remember these for your tests and for your quizzes. G stands for growth, and it turns out that living things get bigger. I mean, as you start out as a little infant, you're going to grow, 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 grow into a big adult. Things just get bigger, cells divide. Organization. O stands for organization. You see, all biological systems, whether they be a small bacteria, a little bacteria is a system. There's all these little things working together inside that bacteria to allow it to live. All the way to a gigantic ecosystem where all these animal populations are working together in harmony and, and supporting each other. Everything is organized. All right, we all have a bunch of small parts working together. You are organized. You have a bunch of organ systems that work together to make you work. Next is cells. All living things are made of cells. Bacteria are little single-celled organisms. All the way up to the largest blue whale that's made of trillions of cells. But everything is made of cells, and they're the smallest unit of life. We're actually going to be looking at a lot of cells underneath microscopes so you get a chance to learn about them and see what they look like. H is homeostasis. In order for an organism to continue to live and thrive, it has to maintain a stable internal environment. Everything needs to be balanced. Inside you, you have systems that maintain the pH of your blood. You have systems that maintain the temperature of your body. How do I stay warm when it's cold outside, and how do I stay cold when it's warm outside? You also have systems that maintain your hormone levels in your body. Hormones are, are chemicals that are coursing through our veins right now, and they are bringing different chemical signals to different parts of our bodies and telling us how to, uh, telling our, our organs what to do and when to do it. E stands for energy. Everything that is living requires energy. We have to obtain, we have to store that energy, and we eventually have to use that energy to carry out our everyday lives. Now, us animals, we require require. Uh, what they call mitochondria. Mitochondria are like the little uh, power plants inside our cells, and they take part in cellular respiration. Plants, on the other hand, are a little bit different. They've got little factories inside them called uh, chloroplasts, and chloroplasts take, take part in this process called photosynthesis. And photosynthesis harnesses the energy from the sun and turns it into usable food for the plant. R stands for reproduction. In order for a species to continue, in order for a species to thrive, they must reproduce. And that is really the, the, the definition of reproduction. It's just the production of new offspring, right? Now there are a couple types of uh, reproduction that we're going to need you guys to understand. One is sexual reproduction, okay? And many higher orga uh, le level orga organisms take part in this. Um, mammals, amphibians, reptiles, they all take part in sexual reproduction where there are two parents. And then there's also asexual reproduction. And asexual reproduction seems to be characterized to very, very simple organisms, single cell organisms. And this is when there's one parent, and that parent can actually split apart. And we're going to talk more about that uh, in some upcoming units. Now, if we want to recap this whole idea, again, we're dealing with go share. And no, I don't mean share, the 70s diva rocking the bell bottoms. No, I mean. G-O-C-H-E-R, each letter standing for one of the fundamental characteristics of life. G stands for growth, O for organization, C stands for cells, H for homeostasis, E for energy, and R for reproduction. I want you guys to know all about those uh, characteristics of life. I want you to be able to explain what each one means. I really hope this video helped you. Be, uh, be, uh, be ready for some more videos, and you're going to learn sometimes just like this, and I hope it really helps you out. This is Underwood signing off.